हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल माय नेम इज साइल अग्रवाल आई एम अ फाइनल ईयर अंडर ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट एट आईटी गांधीनगर आई एम आल्सो गोइंग टू जॉइन डी शॉ एज अ सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपर इन अ फ्यू मंथ्स एज यू वुड हैव सीन इन द थंबनेल यू वुड आल्सो एडमिट दैट दिस इज द रियलिटी इवन आईटी बॉम्बे क्लेम दैट 36% ऑफ इट स्टूडेंट्स वर नॉट एबल टू गेट अ प्लेसमेंट दिस ईयर ऑब्वियसली देयर आर मेनी थिंग्स व्हिच आर नॉट कंसीडर्ड हियर फॉर एग्जांपल मेनी स्टूडेंट्स डोंट इवन सिट फॉर प्लेसमेंट्स मेनी स्टूडेंट्स गो टू हायर स्टडीज सम स्टूडेंट्स ड्रॉप आउट इन बिटवीन द कॉलेज बट देन आल्सो द नंबर इज स्के so if the condition of india's one of the best college is not up to its standards then what can we expect from a tier 2 or tier 3 college we all know that most of the jobs nowadays lies in the domain of full stack development data analytics and software development so let's say if there is a student from a tier 3 college doing civil engineering and he or she wants to grab a good job in the tech industry what is their college offering despite taking a fees of 10 lakhs 15 lakhs or even 20 lakhs rupees they are not able to provide right amount of opportunities for the students nowadays every tech company wants you to know programming wants you to know coding wants you to know some sort of development but this is completely different from what has been taught to the students in a college are you able to understand a big gap here that you are paying lakhs of rupees just for doing a btech degree in a tier 3 private college and in return you are not getting anything i am not talking about colleges like iit or top nits or the tier 1 colleges which we call obviously if you go into these colleges they provide you with opportunities they bring in companies which help you get placed in a good company uh, but again getting into those colleges is a very difficult task considering the amount of indian population we have for example in jee 12 lakh people 11 lakhs people every year give jee and out of those only around 20 to 30000 students are able to get into some decent colleges which is again a very very less number nowadays you don't necessarily need a college to help you get a job masai school helps you here they offer professional courses in the domain of full stack development data analytics and software testing and automation if you are a 12th pass or have done bca or bsc or btech you are eligible for their courses what sets them apart is their pay after placement model which means that you will complete their courses by giving zero rupees and you need to pay their fees only after getting a placement that means if you are not getting placed within one year of their completion of their courses then you don't need to pay any fees isn't that great obviously it is better as compared to those tier 3 private colleges which take humongous amounts of money and in return they are not providing us with the right kind of opportunities for placements and jobs students need to pay their fees only after they get placed based on a ctc threshold the threshold is 3.5 lakhs per annum that means if the students are earning more than 3.5 lakhs per annum then only they have to pay the fees otherwise not the duration of these courses is 30 weeks that means in about 7 to 8 months you will learn a skill and post then with a strong network of more than 4000 hiring partners they will help you with the opportunities to get a job you will also receive a nsdc certificate after the completion of the course Masai School offers an extensive curriculum with real world projects and interview preparation which is very very important and completely absent in the courses offered by our engineering college we don't get to learn these right even now many of the engineering colleges depend on that old teaching style which is becoming completely outdated if you closely see masai success depends on the student success if a student is getting placed masai will earn money if they're not getting placed masai will not earn money so obviously masai school puts a lot of effort in bringing uh, in providing the best quality of education in providing the best quality of content for the students because they want more and more number of students to get placed so that they earn money they have their own free entrance test which is called msat so if you want to enroll in any of their courses you need to first give this test which tests you on basic maths and logical reasoning i think think the initiative taken by masai school is great you can also look upon many success stories of students from masai school the link is in the description i would highly encourage you guys to check out the link and you can take up a look i hope this video gave you new insights and it helped those people who were looking for a job in the tech industry and were confused what to do do subscribe to my channel like the video and share it with your friends and you can also comment down any suggestions or any questions which you may have for me i will definitely answer that's it for this video we will meet in the next one till then keep learning keep growing and stay healthy